Hello everyone, at SyncFusion we've been using Git Workflow to help manage a variety of complex products. However, to successfully collaborate with teammates using Git, it's important for everyone to stay on the same page in regards to how to best use version control for their specific use cases. Here's a list of do's and don'ts to help you navigate Git. Be sure to create a Git repository for every new project, always be sure to create a new branch for every new feature and new bug, and always create one pull request to address one issue. Be sure to regularly commit and push changes to the remote branch to avoid loss of work. Always be sure to include a git ignore file to avoid unwanted files being committed. And always commit changes while using a concise and useful commit message. Utilize git submodule for large projects. Keep your branches up to date using development branches. And be sure to follow a workflow like Gitflow. Though there are many workflows available, so choose the one that best suits your needs. Always create a pull request for merging changes from one branch to another. Always review your code by yourself before creating a pull request. Also, have more than one person look over your pull requests. It's not necessary, but it is the best practice. Enforce standards by using pull request templates and adding continuous integrations. Merge changes from the release branch to master after each release, and also tag the master sources after each release. Delete branches if the feature or bug is merged into its intended branches and the branch is no longer required. Make sure you're automating general workflow checks using Git hooks. Also, include read and write permission access control to prevent unauthorized access. And lastly, be sure to protect special branches like master development to safeguard against accidental deletion. Now for some of the don'ts, otherwise known as practices that you should avoid. Don't commit directly to the master or development branches. Don't hold up work by not committing local branch changes to remote branches. Also, never commit application secrets in public repositories. Don't commit large files in the repository. This will increase the size of the repository. Use git lfs for large files. Don't create one pull request addressing multiple issues. Don't work on multiple features in the same branch. If a feature is dropped, it will be difficult to revert changes. Don't reset a branch without committing or stashing your changes. If you do, your changes will be lost. Don't do a forced push unless you're extremely comfortable performing this action. And finally, don't modify or delete public history. Considering these items will help you use Git more effectively. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. For more information, visit SyncFusion.com or visit the link in the description to learn more about Git. Thank you.